I think Sean Strickland really does show that there's levels to this game against Drickus Duplessis, and here's why. Let's first go into his striking defense. Now, Sean Strickland is on par to have the best striking defense in the UFC. He rarely gets hit. The only time he's actually been hit properly was Alex Pereira, which everyone's been hit by Alex Pereira at this point. So you can't really fault him there. But against one of the world-class kickboxers in Adesanya, he couldn't get a, uh, a hit off against Sean Strickland. Against a wrestler with Jack Hermanson, he couldn't get a hit off. Against a very well-rounded, balanced youngster in Imovov, he couldn't get a hit off. I think Sean Strickland's defense is very crispy and it's very difficult to get past because of the way he stands. Sean Strickland's defense is with that patented Philly shell with his left arm to his body and his right arm to the side of his face to block punches. And with one, two, Sean Strickland loves carrying and moving away or to the weak side of someone's uh, jab and cross. And with hooks, he likes to do something called framing. He likes to reach out and almost stop the punch by either hitting the forearm or even putting his hand on the shoulder of that opponent or the hand on the bicep of that opponent. It's something that George Foreman showed uh, at the start of his career. He notoriously did it to Joe Frazier and knocked him out very clean. George Foreman was the main guy that used to do that. And Sean Strickland is now doing it in MMA. Sean Strickland is almost impossible to get a hit off unless you set him up with one big shot. And I don't think Drakus has the capabilities to set someone up for one big shot. Drakus is a very sloppy com combination fighter. Drakus, his main combination would be a lunging two with multiple hooks when he is on the back foot. And I think Drakus is going to be on the back foot in this fight because of the pressure of Sean Strickland. The pressure of Sean Strickland doesn't change for the opponent. He was pressuring Jack Hermanson. He was pressuring Imovov. He was pressuring Abus Magomedov in the second round, as well as Alex before the knockout and Izzy the whole five rounds. Sean Strickland likes to move forward because he doesn't get hit that much. So there's no reason to move backwards. And when you come up with a guy who has really good defense and is always moving forward, it is very hard to get a beat on him as well as it is very hard to understand your distance between Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland's jab pops out of nowhere because it comes from that downward angle. It comes from the from low to the hip. And so you have no real idea when it does come out. And when it usually comes out, there's usually a two that's coming right before it. Sean Strickland likes to throw almost like a probing two with his left hand. And he will read it to see what you were, will do to it. And will almost duck under to most punches to then throw that very meaningful right hook. Watch for the right hook in this fight. I think Sean Strickland will show that off very, very quickly. Because he is, in my opinion, going to look for a knockout. When someone talks about your personal life, especially a personal thing like your dad and, you know, traumatic experiences. Bro, you think your dad beat the shit up you? you, you your dad doesn't have shit on me. I'm going to show you what it's like to Dragus. beat you. I mean, all, every childhood memory you have is going to come back when I'm in there with you. Every single one, the one where you lie in bed at night where your dad thing, comes man. in and he beats the shit I out of you. I will take your fucking soul, you understand me, you fucking pussy? <laughs> Sean Strickland might be a little bit more aggressive in this fight, which I think will actually pay off for him as long as he doesn't brawl it out. I think if Sean Strickland stays disciplined and just does a really hard sparring session, like he will always do in the cage because he fights like he's sparring this fight i think could go very easy for sean strickland as long as he can defend the takedown and let's talk about his takedown defense he has very good takedown defense he hasn't gotten taken down or um had a shot on him since abus magomedov and let's talk about the abus fight what sean strickland likes to do most of the times with single and double legs is the regular fundamentals which is pushing the head down and trying to get an underhook with the other hand. Pushing the head down would make it so that the person cannot move or really drive their head into you to go for that double or single. Pushing the head down ruins the posture of the opponent and they most likely won't get the takedown unless your name is Khabib who has overwhelming amount of strength. Sean Strickland as well has gotten to the ground against Abus Magomedov and Abus almost had his back and how he would mainly work with being on the back. He's very patient. He 
isn't really in too much trouble, or at least he doesn't make it seem like he's in too much trouble. Against Abus, when he did get his back taken, he was very focused on not getting the other hook in and was almost talking to his coach and looking at him to see what he was saying. Uh, Sean Strickland is very composed in there. He, until around the ending rounds where he starts talking and screaming like the madman that he is. But Sean Strickland has something that no one has, which is hours on top of hours of sparring training. This guy spars like everyone. He spars everyone, does not care who you are. He will spar, 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 spar. Sean Strickland is the most sparred UFC fighter. They did a whoop belt and they noticed that he has the most time sparring, but also has the least amount of strikes landed to him. Sean Strickland does not get hit a lot. And when he does, it's only against a world-class striker like Alex Pereira. The only way I see Drake is winning this is if he does get the takedown, but I don't see him being able to mix in the two striking and takedowns unless he's moving forward in this fight which I don't think he will. I think Sean Strickland will be a pressure heavy fighter. And when you have a guy that's literally walking in front of you, that's his whole game plan. It's gonna be hard to try to enforce your will against his. Sean Strickland, I think will be on the front foot for most of the fight. And when he is, when he isn't, it's gonna be Drakus doing the flurries that he does, which I think Sean will greatly counter and block very easily. It's already hard enough to get a hit on Sean Strickland. But when you're talking about Drikus' striking, which is mainly a lot of flare-ups with his elbows and a lot of spamming of hooks and jabs, the only time that he showed very good timing was against Robert Whitaker with the blitz. But Sean Strickland doesn't blitz like that. Sean Strickland throws probing ones and twos, and he's never really overstepping unless he has you hurt. I don't think Drikus will be able to get a proper timing on Sean Strickland. And unless he can get the takedown, which we have seen Sean Strickland's takedown defense be really well, I don't think this fight really goes much else other than a Sean Strickland win. Sean Strickland is a very tough fighter to fight, and he's a very seasoned veteran. And when you add in the Teddy Atlas quote of champions always get 30% better, I think Sean Strickland will look better in this fight, will look better than what he did against Izzy, which is a very big statement to put out to the world that I just did. But I think Sean Strickland will show that there's levels to this with Drakus and that Drakus needs to go back to his when he was a prospect. If anyone remembers when Drakus was a prospect, he was renowned. He looked amazing most fights. But when he does have issues, when he does get frustrated, you see a change of Drakus' style where he does get very sloppy. He does get very frustrated and almost gasses out. There is that big question of Drakus' uh, deviated septums, how he had no surgeries. And um, he did look good against Robert Whitaker, but it's two completely different styles and styles makes fights. And I think it will be very difficult to get a hit on Strickland due to the defense, due to the basic fundamentals that Sean Strickland has. It's very simple fighting that Sean Strickland does do. It is a Philly show. It is you parry one twos, you frame on hooks with uppercuts, you mainly lean back or you move your head. And with overhands, you do the same thing as hooks. With leg kicks, Sean Strickland usually doesn't check, but against Izzy, he checked all of them. So there is a possibility that Sean Strickland will have a proper Philly shell with good leg kick checking. This fight comes down to, is fundamentals going to work? Because we see Drikus who throws fundamentals out the window, and we see Sean Strickland who only focuses on fundamentals. Sean Strickland does not throw anything out there that isn't fundamentals. And in my opinion, I think fundamentals wins fights. I think the only way you don't have fundamentals and you still make it very far into the division is if you have a buttload of power like Francis Ngannou. But no offense to Drakus, who is a very powerful man, don't get me wrong, but he does not have the stopping power that Francis does have. Give me Sean Strickland. I think Sean Strickland will win this by decision, by his one-twos, by his hooks, by his teeps. His teeps are very underrated. His teeps will move people backwards and he will keep them in check in that kickboxing range where then Sean Strickland will check your leg kicks and will throw teeps and one twos. I think Sean Strickland, based on fundamentals, will win this fight very convincingly. Give me Sean Strickland by a decision. And why? If you want to replay the video, I'll tell you why. It's been studs.